Hi everyone, this is Pelal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to another video and in this video I will solve the problem of one of my previous series which is building wallpaper app in Android with an admin panel. So when we come to the ninth video many people are having problem and we can see on the comments and so far I have two known issues. The first is not an issue exactly. The first thing is people are saying even when they are downloading my source code it is not working. So first I will download my source code and I will show you how to configure it of the admin panel and I will prove it to you that it is working. So this is my github repository and I also have a new firebase console account where I will create a new project and I will show you that it is actually working. So let's do it. First I will clone this repository. So I will click here and I will clone the repository and for this we need to open command prompt and I will do it inside desktop. So inside desktop I will clone which is git clone and I will clone my repository. So the repository is cloned. I will go inside the repository now or our project which is wallpaper app admin then I will open this in visual studio code now when you clone my repository what you need to do is you need to go inside app.js and you need to change this part and to get these values you need to create a firebase project in your firebase console so I will create a new project and let's name it wallpaper or anything that you want accept the terms and create project so the project is ready continue and the first thing here we will do is we will enable the authentication so go to sign in method and enable this email and password authentication this is enabled now go to database and create a real-time database So this is our database. Now you also need to change the rules. So by default it is read write false. So we will change it to read if auth is not equals to null and write if auth is not equals to null. Publish the rules. Now also open storage and get started and create the storage as well because we need storage to upload the files and we need database to store the data for our application. So both the things are created. Now go to your project overview. Uh, actually go to your project settings and here select web from this your apps card and it will show you this thing so you need to copy this where config copy it and you need to paste it here so replace my config with your config object that you just copied from firebase console and save it now come back to command prompt and run the command http server if you don't have http server then run this command first npm install http server and you can install it globally with hyphen g but in my case it is already installed so I will directly run http hyphen server now my server is running so let's open this url in my browser so I will open this and we are inside the login screen so to log in we need to add a user in our firebase authentication so go to authentication and add a user so i will add myself here let's say probilal khan gmail.com and the password is one two three four five six seven eight and we will add the user now come back to the application and use the email and password 
and then login so login is working fine go to categories and let's try adding a category so i will add just random and let's select an image I think this is good and then save you can see it is working perfectly it is fine but another issue is if you are not downloading my project and following the series then the known issue is the firebase version is changed if you see my source code then in this series when i created the series we were using this firebase version 4.12.0 but if you follow the process now the firebase version is changed so if we go to the firebase docs let's go here yeah here you can see it is showing the firebase version 5.11.0 if you use this version, let's try using it. Then our application will not work. Let's see. Make sure it is not using a cached version. So the Firebase version has changed. Now go to categories and let's try adding a new category this time. New cat. Let's choose a file and then save. You can see this time it is not working. If you will go to the console, you can see we have an error which is first argument contains undefined in property categories dot new cat dot thumbnail. So what is happening is go to the code and let's go to categories and here what is happening is this thumbnail url is null and that's why it is not able to save the category because this value contains null and this is because the firebase has changed the method to get the download url of uploaded files so if you are using a new version then it will not work so what is the solution come to the docs and here you can see how we get the URL of downloaded files. So this is how we get the download URL. So we will copy this thing and we will copy it here in the complete function. Now we have the download URL here. Now what we need to do is we need to put everything inside this function. So I will cut everything. Uh, this is good. And I will put it inside. So let's put everything inside. And let's do some indentation. Okay, nice. Now instead of this thumbnail URL, we will pass download URL. And that's it. Now if we see our application again, then it should work. So let's try. So go to categories, enter some name. Choose file, uh, the same file it is, let's choose this one and then save. You can see this time it is working fine. So that was the issue, it was the issue because the firebase has changed the method to get the download URL. And we also have the same issue when we are uploading a wallpaper. So we need to do the same thing in images.html as well. So here when we are uploading the wallpaper, yeah, 
so we are getting the image url like this but now we need to follow this method of getting the image url so i will copy this again and i will paste it here cut everything paste it inside and instead of this image url pass download url i will push this commit into the github repository so you can download the source code again this is the corrected source code so let's do it now i will stop the server and get add but first let's test if it is working or not so again http server go to images select a category and put some title select an image and save wallpaper so you can see it is working and we have the wallpapers here in our database you can see we have categories and images if you go to storage you will see the uploaded files you can see we have new cat we have a random we have some name so it is working fine so let's push this update into get or our repository which is get add dot get commit and what should be the commit message and then get push origin master so the code is updated in the repository you can get it from there so that's all for this video friends i hope you found it helpful if you did then please hit on that like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends to help me gain more and more subscribers. Thank you guys, this is Bilal Khan now signing off.